I'm sure you're all aware of the big news today, and that is, of course, the verdict being appealed. Now, here's the thing. There were mixed there were mixed statements on this, and it's kind of confusing, but I'm going to try to break down what's going on here. AH is moving forward with an appeal. Okay. Now, the question that I had yesterday when all this broke was, well, I thought it was going to cost her $10 million for her to appeal. Apparently, and I may or may not be right on this, from what I understand from watching some videos where some lawyers were breaking this down, is she could still move forward with the appeal for 500 bucks, but if she wants to suspend the sentence... She has to put up that $10 million. She doesn't have that $10 million. Well, actually, I think she does have that $10 million. I think she still has a lot of that money from the divorce because of the fact that she didn't donate it. It was only pledged. And she also has the money for that book deal. The book deal is worth at least $15 million. That was the number that was being kicked around And I I tend to believe it, to be honest. I think that it's ridiculous to give her that amount of money. But, you know, companies are crazy. So, who knows? She has the money, but she's not going to put it up. So, I hope JD goes for the money now hard and aggressively and takes all that money. So, the other statement was this. AH has until Monday, July 25th, to pay the $10.97 million appeal bond. So that's the big thing going on. If she wants to pay it, she has till July 25th. I don't think she's going to pay that. I, In fact, I highly doubt she's going to pay that. So this means that JD can go forward and take his money whenever he wants. Because the the sentence won't be suspended. Now, I don't think this is going to work. And JD's response to this is that uh, they are basic. His lawyers basically said we're confident that the appeal is going to stay, or that the verdict is going to stand. It's right here. The jury list. Here's what Depp's representatives said, and this is his statement. The jury listened to the extensive evidence presented during the six-week trial and came to a clear, unanimous verdict that the defendant himself, herself, defamed Mr. J.D. in multiple instances. We remain confident in our case and that this verdict will stand, a spokesperson for the actor said. So I don't think he's got anything to worry about. I don't think this is going to go through. I I think that she's going to lose the appeal. And that's going to be hilarious. So she'll be stomping up and down on the on the floorboards, very upset that uh she's going to lose, but that'll just be the way it is. And then this will finally end. People ask me, why do you make videos on this all the time? Because there's always something going on. Because she won't leave it alone. She probably could have just got out of this and not had to pay a dime if she just agreed to a gag order and to stop defaming him and leave him alone. I guarantee you, he wouldn't come after that money. He he wouldn't come after it. Now, though, I don't know. I bet you he does, and I hope he does. Check this out, too. This is funny. I got two more things, this and something else I want to show you. <laughs> These pictures, Eve Barlow, who may or may not be uh, A.H.'s girlfriend. A lot of pictures like this. Like, what is this? You can't take your friend's bag. she got her hands in her pocket. Like, she's carrying all of her weight all the time. And there's more than just this picture. Like, here she is carrying a bunch of bags. You can't put one in the stroller. What is this? Like, this is, this is, this, like, sums up being in a relationship with A.H., uh, you're going to carry everything. You're basically like a servant. You have to do everything that she says. <laughs> oh, poor Eve. Actually, no, not poor Eve. She's a pretty pretty mean person. Tries to get people's careers destroyed. 
Look at this. It's trending right now. AH deserves prison. It trends every day still. It's just, it's just crazy that this still has, I would say, not as much momentum as when the trial was going on, but it's still there quite a bit. Are you prepared for this, though? This is JD's greatest crime. He's in a lot of trouble, at least from Newsweek, who have proved themselves, by the way, to be very pro-AH. This is probably one of the most pro-AH websites around. And I want to point out, this isn't an old article. Uh, This was published July 20th (laughs) at 8.44 a.m. What did he do? What's the big what's the big crime that JD committed this time? Well, he's under fire for gendering I O Tilliot. Am I saying that name right? I'm not sure. Uh during the trial. So that's that's Herd's buddy, this person right here. And I O is of course a trans person. And he used the wrong pronouns during the trial. This was weeks ago. Weeks ago. And I honestly don't think that he was doing it intentionally or anything to to be mean or, or hurt anybody's feelings. I think he just wasn't sure what to say. And also, there's a lot of pressure. You're sitting on a stand. Millions of people are watching. You know, I, I think he just made a mistake. I don't think he was trying to hurt anybody's feelings, but Newsweek jumps up. What can, what can we smear JD with today? Oh, well, let's just run with this one here. It's like somebody was taking notes. What can we use to shit on him with like seven weeks after the trial? (laughs) Oh, I know. We'll say he misgendered somebody. That'll definitely rally the troops up. (laughs) <laughs> it never stops. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.